Harley Davidson has been ordered to pay out $287 million after the company was found liable in a lawsuit stemming from the death of a trike rider in our area. The initial verdict came down last Wednesday, finding that the company had a defective traction control system that resulted in the 2020 death of Harold Morris's longtime companion, Pamela Sinclair. The system software malfunctioned, causing 75-year-old Morris to lose control of the three-wheel motorcycle and go off the highway. He was seriously injured, while 63-year-old Sinclair, his passenger, died from her injuries. In 2019, the trike experienced the same malfunction resulting in a crash. Morris and Sinclair were injured in that accident, but their injuries were not considered serious. Harley-Davidson had claimed Morris was to blame for both crashes, adding that they planned to appeal. Jury deliberations ended today and they decided punitive damages were warranted here. The aggregate verdict was, nor, uh, I don't know the exact number, it was $287 million in total uh, with a punitive damages award of $240 million. It, it's that, that punitive damages number that we really wanted to get out there, uh, that we really want people to know. Harold has told me from day one, in fact, he stood in front of this courthouse four years ago with some news cameras and he said that we want to come here because we don't want this to happen to anybody else again, that companies like this need to be held accountable. We're told November 8th, the jury's verdict will be examined in court by the judge.